Welcome to Science on Two Wheels. In this video, we'll be exploring the question, can we predict volcanic eruptions? Let's get going. All right, so as I'm sure you know by now, volcanic eruptions are natural hazards. They are hazards, though, that can become natural disasters pretty easily. And, of course, in order for a volcanic eruption to become a natural hazard, it has to cause widespread economic, environmental, material, or human loss. As long as it does one of those things, it is considered a natural disaster instead of a natural hazard. One of the most famous natural disasters caused by a volcanic eruption was the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. Most of you have probably heard of the city Pompeii and maybe even Herculaneum. These were two cities completely destroyed by this eruption. Over a period of two days, Mount Vesuvius violently erupted, and during that time it let out more energy, 100,000 times more energy, than both the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined. That's an incredible amount of energy. It also completely buried the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum in its pyroclastic flow, which is basically just super hot volcanic matter, such as gases and ash. It is believed that thousands upon thousands of people died, and 2,000 years later, well, almost 2,000 years later, we have found over 1,500 bodies. Many of these bodies are casts, which were created when they were completely surrounded by the pyroclastic flow and volcanic ash. Now, obviously, as humans, we want to mitigate the damage done by natural disasters such as volcanic eruptions. And to do that, we need to be able to tell if, you know, they're going to happen or not. So that begs the question, can volcanic eruptions be predicted or forecasted? And the simple answer is yes, kind of. Here's the thing. Each volcano out there, by the way, please don't ever do this. This is extremely dangerous. Anyway, each volcano out there is extremely unique, right? And because of that, scientists can only somewhat accurately predict eruptions if they have studied that particular volcano extensively. So, that is to say, on a volcano that has not been studied extensively, scientists can't really predict whether it will erupt very accurately or not. Now, sometimes it can be pretty obvious if it's going to erupt, but most of the time, it's not. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at some of the different methods that scientists use to predict volcanic eruptions. One of the main methods that scientists, in this case, volcanologists, use to determine whether or not an eruption could be happening in the future is by studying a volcano's seismicity. Seismicity of a volcano is simply how often and how strong and also where earthquakes regularly occur on that particular volcano. To measure this, scientists use a network of seismographs. So they take a bunch of seismographs, they put them all over the volcano, and they basically just measure the seismicity of that volcano at all times. A sudden increase in the strength and frequency of the earthquakes in a volcano can indicate a possible coming eruption. So volcanologists are constantly looking for those. They're looking for the earthquakes to become more frequent, stronger, and maybe even change locations. Another way that volcanologists use to determine if things are changing within a volcano is volcanic deformation. So volcanic deformation is caused by rising magma coming from deep, deep within the earth and then pushing on the volcano, kind of like when you blow air into a balloon and it pushes on that balloon and causes it to bulge outwards. The same thing happens with rising magma. To measure volcanic deformation, for years, scientists have been using something called tilt meters. And they are basically little sensors that can determine if the ground is beginning to tilt or not. 
volcanologists would take a lot of these tilt meters and set them all over the volcano. They would learn what was a normal tilt and what was not. If magma begins to push up on the ground below the tilt meter, it will tilt a little bit farther. That will tell the scientists, the volcanologists, that it is tilting, it is changing, something is pushing on the ground here. The thing is, tilt meters are not super easy to use and you've got to have a lot of them all over the volcano in order to get an accurate picture of what's going on. Because of that, they are being replaced by a new technology called SAR. SIRs are attached to satellites where they then can monitor the shape and structure of a volcano really, really accurately. And so if a volcano begins to deform, scientists can be alerted very quickly to that change. Of course, if all of a sudden a volcano starts bulging outwards, that can be another sign of a possible future eruption. A third main way that volcanologists use to monitor a volcano and possible future eruptions is by measuring volcanic gases being released from the volcano. You see, magma deep within the earth has all kinds of different gases dissolved within it. When magma begins to push up towards the surface of the earth, those gases begin to get released. There are two main types of gases that volcanologists look for during these times. Those two gases are SO2 and CO2, sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. To do this, once again, volcanologists take sensors, place them all around the volcano to create a network, and then monitor those sensors for an increase in those gases. If those gases begin to increase, that indicates rising magma, which indicates an imminent eruption. All right, so just to recap, the three main ways and types of data that volcanologists use to learn about a volcano and therefore be able to predict future eruptions are the volcano's specific seismicity, an increase in that can indicate a possible eruption, the volcanic deformation, so if a volcano begins to bulge outwards, that could indicate a coming eruption, and volcanic gas levels. So sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide levels suddenly increasing could indicate a coming eruption. I hope that this video has helped you understand how scientists predict volcanic eruptions. Just remember that they can generally only predict eruptions on volcanoes that they know very well and have studied for quite some time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and also click on that bell icon if you'd like notifications. Thank you so much. Come back, watch more, and keep on learning.